Virtual Dub is a powerful Windows application that allows you to process and edit high quality video in a number of very useful ways. While it looks fairly basic, it's a bit like a Swiss Army pocket knife for video that can prepare video, images and sound for other programs. The bottom buttons are the controls for the video playback and editing. They include play, stop, forward, rewind, jump to previous and next keyframes, as well as the start and end frame markers. Let's begin by opening an AVI video, the Windows video format Virtual Dub requires. You'll notice that until I study the camera, the first part of the video is fairly jerky. I'm going to use the slider to determine the stable portion of the video that I'd like to keep and save. Once in position, I'll click the start and end markers to select the exact part of the video I'm after. I'll choose Save Segmented AVI and render out the video. We can now play just the stable section we wanted. If we check the file size of our video, it's a very large 343 megabytes. Because Virtual Dub by default exports out as high quality uncompressed video. We can greatly reduce the file size by choosing Compression from the Video menu and choose from one of the compression codecs installed. Once resaved, the file size is now only 1.4 megabytes. Under the video menu, I'll now choose Filters and select Add. The filters available allow us to edit the video. I'm going to choose the Brightness Contrast filter and make my video a bit brighter. Virtual Dub can export out your video in a number of very useful ways, such as individual images, animated GIFs, or the video soundtrack as a WAVE sound file. Monkey Jam could be used to turn exported images into more refined animated GIFs. And podcasts could be created from exported WAV files in Audacity. The Virtual Dub website contains useful resources relating to how-tos, codecs and new filters.